Hey everyone, my name is Olav, and today I'll show you how to make 3D animations with random locations using Python in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by cleaning up the scene. So press X to delete the default cube, and then select the light and press X to delete. And then go to Add, Mesh, and then let's add a sphere. And then press S to scale. And then let's go into the modifiers and add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. And then apply the modifier and go to object and add smooth shading as well. Okay, so let's open a new window for the script. So drag the top right corner. And then let's go into the text editor. And I click new. And then go to the sidebar and uh, turn on syntax highlighting for colors and then line numbers. And let's increase the font size as well. And uh, let's go back to the script. Okay, so let's start off by importing the Blender BPY, which is the Blender module. And then import random as well, so that we can generate random numbers. And then we need to select the sphere in the script. So uh, set ob equals to bpy.data.object. And then square brackets. And then type in sphere, which you can see is the name of the object. And then let's set the frame number in the beginning to zero. So frame underscore number equals zero. Okay, and then we need to use a for loop, which repeats a block of code. And in the range, you can decide how many times you want the block of code to be repeated. And then let's give the keyframes on the x-axis random values between minus 20 and 20. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how the for loop and the rand int works using the Python console. So uh, let's go to the Python console. And uh, let's start off by uh, copying the uh, random import. So uh, control C and then control V and then press enter. And uh, let's um, add the for loop as well. So control uh, V and then enter. And um, then I'm going to print the random values. So print, parentheses, and then rand int between minus 20 and 20. And then press enter two times. And as you can see, we get random values between minus 20 and 20. We're going to use these random values in the keyframes of the sphere. So let's set the uh, y-axis equals to rand int between uh, minus 20 and 20. And then do the same for the set axis. So set equals rand int minus 20 to 20. And then we need to set the frame number of the scene equal to the variable frame number, which we will add to later in this for loop. And then in the next line, we need to set the location of the sphere equal to the x, y, and set variables, which are uh, random values. And then in the next line, we need to insert keyframes. So uh, let's set the keyframe type to location. So ob.location, then import data path equals location. And then set the index to minus one, which uh, gives us three dimensional keyframes. And then each time the block of code is repeated, we will add five units to the frame number which means that we move five frames forward on the timeline. Okay, and then let's run the code. And as you can see, when we uh, play the animation from the beginning, we have an animation with um, keyframes at random locations between minus 20 and 20 on all the three axes. Okay, so press N and then right click and then clear the keyframes. And then we can change the values to create a new type of animation. So let's set it to 100, for example. And then add two units for each time the block of code is repeated. And then let's try to run the code. And as you can see, the animation is much faster. You can also change the random values so that the sphere moves on a smaller or larger area. Okay, so... Uh, Let's uh, change it one more time before we set up the uh, render settings. So let's set it to uh, 
12 and 20. And then run the script. And as you can see, we now have a uh, slow animation because we only added uh, 12 keyframes. Okay, so let's pause and uh, set the values back to what we started with. So 50, which means 50 keyframes. And then 5 for the frame number. Okay, so let's uh, save, file, save as, give the file a name, save it wherever you want on the computer, and then press enter to save. Now let's delete the previous animation. So right click and clear, and then run script. And uh, now let's uh, remove all of the uh, Python related windows. So you can just uh, drag and remove it. And then the next step of the tutorial is to set up the camera. And we will try to make sure that the whole animation is within the frame of the camera. So let's uh, pause the animation and then press numpad zero to uh, look through the camera. And then lock the camera to view by going into view. As you can see, when we play the animation, we need to increase the range of the camera. So select the camera, go into the camera settings and then increase the end value. Okay, so uh, let's uh, play the animation one more time and uh, make sure everything is within the frame of the camera. You can move the uh, camera a little bit backwards by pressing G and then holding in the middle mouse button while dragging the mouse backwards. And uh, that should be enough. I think I'm going to scale up the sphere as well. So let's uh, pause the animation and select the sphere and then press S to scale. And then let's make sure it's uh, within the frame of the camera once again. And I think that's okay. So let's select the camera and move it slightly backwards by pressing G and holding in the middle mouse button. Okay, so now it's time to set up the lighting. So uh, go to add and then light, and then select the sun. Let's set the strength of the sun to 15. And uh, then press R two times to rotate the sun freely. And you can also press R then set to rotate the sun on the set axis. And I think I will rotate the sun in this direction. And then let's unlock the camera from view. And I think that looks okay. So uh, let's go into the rendered view. And then let's go into the world settings and make the background completely white. And uh, then let's select the sphere and add a material to the sphere. So a new, and then I'm going to use the glossy shader. Add a blue color. You can add whatever color you want, it doesn't really matter. And then press number at zero to look through the camera. And uh, this looks fine. I think I will increase the uh, roughness for the object. We're almost done with the tutorial. So now it's the time to play around with the colors and materials and find a color that you like. I think I will use orange for uh, this tutorial. For uh, this render, we will use Eevee as this is a very basic animation and Eevee works fine for uh, that. And then let's go to the output settings and set the frame rate to 30 FPS, which is uh, smooth. And then let's select a folder for the file animation. And then give the animation a name. And then press enter. You can save the animation wherever you want on the computer. It doesn't really matter. And then let's set the file format to AVI JPEG. And let's increase the quality to 100%. And then go to render, set the display mode to the image editor, and then render, and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll post more Blender tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.